Hello everybody, Jim here. Welcome back for another kind of impromptu video because uh, I received something very cool in the mail once again. Uh, a brand new PC Engine game. And when I say that, I really do mean brand new. It's a newly released PC Engine game. Uh, 2023, new PC Engine game. So that's pretty damn cool. So we're going to talk about that. And uh, at the end of the video, I'm actually going to tell you how you can win uh, these PC Engine games because I am going to be giving them away. But uh, first things first, let's take a look. What the hell am I talking about? What is this, Jim? this new PC Engine game you're talking about. It is a game called Dynaforce. And uh, you might be asking yourself, what the hell is Dynaforce? Because I hadn't heard of it either until it popped up on PCE Works, And I heard some people I know through YouTube talking about it. Uh, Dynaworks apparently was a PC Engine game that was in production and scheduled to be released in 1991. And there were even articles written about it in PC Engine magazines and things like that. And just for whatever reason, it was canceled. So the game uh, never got a proper release. But the ROM eventually was handed over to someone, I believe, who works at PCE Works. And something really cool they did was they actually made the ROM available for free. So if you would like to play a digital version of this game, you can actually just go to the PCE Works website and download a free ROM. So I'm actually gonna put a link uh, to the ROM uh, in the description so you can go and play this game for free, but because they're PCE works and this is what they do, they made physical versions of Dynaforce. Uh, and that is what they sent me in the mail. So I actually have two different versions here uh, that they sent to me, both of them uh, the same game, but with a very different uh, artwork on them, which is uh, pretty cool, the artwork on the cover and also in the manual is different. This one a little more, um, how would you put it? Not realistic per se, but a little more, um, uh, well, a little less cutesy, a little less anime-ish, I guess you could say. And then this one, obviously, uh, the much cuter of the two, kind of a super deformed, cute little character. Um, but yeah, so this game was developed in 1991 and then shelved and then now uh, released by PCE Works. So you can go and download the ROM for free, or if you want, you can go and pick up uh, the physical copy. But would you want to? Is Dynaforce a decent game in its own right? Well, uh, it is. I spent some time playing this game, and it's pretty damn cool. It is a shoot 'em up which automatically makes it something I'd be interested in. Um, so if you like shooters, you might be interested in this one, but uh, the way the game is played, kind of the score mechanics are a little bit tricky. Um, you have a primary weapon that is kind of like a string of multicolored circles that comes out from in front of your ship, and that's what you'll be using to destroy enemies. But uh, you also have a power score uh, meter kind of thing where you start with 40,000 points, and every 10,000 points is a life. So essentially you start with four lives, and as you destroy enemies and as you progress through the game, your power score goes up, so every time you rack up another 10,000 points on it, that's another life. But you can also use those power points to unlock uh, certain special sub-weapons that will eventually, uh, you'll be given access, access to them as you're playing through the game. And those special sub-weapons also cost power points. So you can rack up, save those points for more lives, or you can spend them on sub weapons that'll help you get through the game uh, just a little bit easier. And some of those sub weapons include like a super bomb, uh, kind of like shields, defensive shields for your ship, homing attacks, even like a little decoy ship that will attract bullets and enemies to it so that uh, you can kind of uh, destroy them and kind of get away unscathed. And as enemies come on screen, the faster you destroy them, the more power points you get from them. Uh, so it, it kind of I don't know, tempts you to want to like stay over to the right side of the screen and destroy enemies as quickly as possible, which is obviously uh, also more dangerous because the closer you are to the enemies, uh, the easier it is to take a hit and die and lose 10,000 of those power points you've worked so hard to build up. Um, so it is a fun game, again, interesting scoring system in addition to your power points. You also just have your score in general. And finishing a, a stage with uh, having more power points, that just adds more to your overall score. 
Uh, so that's really cool. So the gameplay itself is fun. Not the fastest playing shoot 'em up ever, mind you. And I would say not the most challenging either. It's certainly not like an R type or something to that effect, but still a fun, very playable, uh, moderately challenging shoot 'em up, I would say, with kind of a, a again, an odd scoring system and gimmick. Uh, so the gameplay is pretty cool. Uh, the graphics and sound are quite nice. Again, this is a game that was originally developed in 1991. So it, it isn't anything that's really going to blow you away, but at the very least, it's a rather colorful game and the music is fairly upbeat and catchy and it's good. It's appropriate for a shoot 'em up. So is it the best shoot 'em up I've ever played on the PC Engine? No, not even close, but is it a good shoot 'em up worth playing? Yes, I would say it is. So if you're someone who just loves uh, PC Engine shoot 'em ups, I'd recommend going and downloading the ROM from PCE Works and enjoying it that way. And if you're someone who's a collector, you like collecting PC Engine games, especially like new indie releases, things like that, then I would recommend to you go and pick up uh, these awesome uh, physical copies of uh, Dynaforce. Now, in addition to this, they also sent me something else very cool. Uh, this, for the 35th anniversary of the PC Engine, they sent me a metal hue card. So this is really cool. It's a commemorative metal hue card for the 35th anniversary of the PC Engine. Uh, so that's awesome. So I really appreciate PCE Works uh, sending me all of this stuff, all of these items uh, totally for free. And uh, I really appreciate that. And uh, considering that uh, I am, uh, you know, the type of person I do uh, whenever I can like to pay it forward. Um, so I'm actually going to give away all of this uh, stuff here. So both of these copies of Dino Force I will give away and also this uh, metal PC Engine Hue card. Uh, all of this stuff is going to be given away. How could you uh, get a chance to win these things? I'm going to give these away to channel members. So if you want to uh, have a chance to win these in a raffle, uh, hit the join button, become a channel member. Uh, a week from the day of publishing this video, I'm going to draw uh, three random names from all of my channel members and then I will make a community post for my members, uh, letting them know who won and that they can uh, contact me with their shipping info and they will get uh, all this cool stuff in the mail. Again, two copies of Dino Force on the PC Engine and the PC Engine Metal Hue card. Uh, again, if you want a shot at winning these, hit the join button, become a channel member, and they could be yours. And uh, after that, I actually am going to continue uh, to do giveaways for channel members. So at least every month I'm going to give away uh, a handful of games, maybe even consoles and things like that. Uh, so if that's something you're interested in, go ahead, hit the join button. There's other cool stuff too. I, I publish videos early for channel members and little bonus behind the scenes materials, things like that. Um, so yeah, there you go. Win these things just for you. Uh, so that's it. Uh, very cool. Again, Dino Force PCE works. Thank you very much. Go to the site, download the ROM for free, and if you really, really love your PC Engine games, you can pick up a physical copy of it. Uh, so that's it, everybody. Thank you very much for watching. I uh, really do appreciate it, and I will see you on the next one. Take care, everybody. Goodbye.